purple, blue, oh, there's one of each so far. Purple, two for purple. I will keep the yellow for sure, so it can be either blue or purple. Let's go for purple. Beatrice is blue. So far we're pretty even. Could use a different blue, although I do love this one. But. All right, so let's see if I can make it a bit different. That was at the bottom, the other. There's not really a, a, an up way and a down way. So let's make it this way. All right, so blue is my favorite color. Oh, blue is winning so far. Okay, so I've got that. I'm going to put that away for now because I don't want it to get, you know, splashy splatters or whatever. <clears throat> so I'm going to give that a quick try. Pink. Ah, <laughs> uh, yellow and pink. If I make the center orange, I guess I could do a pink and orange. <laughs> Kathy's adding another purple. That's cheating, but why not? The card I'm using is same as the last two weeks, the Paint On uh, Mixed Media, before anyone asks. Okay, so then afterwards, I'm going to add this, which I think is the other way around because I've turned it. <coughs> Mm -mm. Okay. I've given up on buying masking paper because it's either too sticky or not sticky enough. So now I just use printer paper and I use masking tape and that does the job. Beatrice, ça fait la rue Michel, n'est-ce pas? Right, and we're going to take the numbers. So on this card, I did the numbers in black. And then afterwards, later, I kind of regretted it because I would like that to stand out a bit more because that's black and quite showing quite much. So I think I'm going to do it in gray, probably, the numbers this time to see what it looks like. So it will be a bit different. Hello, Monique. How are you? So where's the numbers? I've got my numbers. And I might use different numbers. Uh, let's try different ones. Pink. with that and I might use it again so I'm not going to clean it then I'm going to use these ones oh I said I would do it in grey didn't I damn it okay you know what let's do both I'll cheat there are no mistakes on it creative c'est très noir pour du gris oui there are no mistake, only creative opportunities. As I've always said, are you using black? Yes, I am. Shh. Shh, shh, shh. Don't say anything. Did I say that I would use gray? No, I didn't, did I? So I'm going to do both. That way, everyone will be happy. Oh, Jean-Marc is here. Coucou, Jean-Marc. And I'm going to use this one in grey. Oh, 
tous les deux en bon sens. Voilà, comme ça, il y a du noir et il y a du gris. Tout le monde est content. And then I'm going to use this one again. Jean-Marc is in the kitchen. Non, Jean-Marc est sur la terrasse. He's just sitting outside having his coffee. So, you know, it was, it was nippy this morning, but it's 22 degrees this afternoon and it's sunny in Provence. So, he's sitting outside making his coffee. Oh. And then there's only a teeny gap, so I'm going to use the teeny numbers. And because I put the top one in black, because obviously I meant to do that, of course, I'm going to use the bottom one in black as well. Can you see what I'm doing this? Hold on, I need to put it down first to put it straight and then... Jean-Marc de la Rue Michel, oui. And then I will use black. Just in case. I don't see what I'm doing. Here we go. If that makes you feel better and squared. Like my, my desk might be uh, clean for what you see, but by the boy, is it a mess next to me? Okay, so, so far, so good. We've got our numbers. So I'm going to dry that. Uh, was that the fine ink I used for the grey? Yes, ma'am, it was. Could have used a, a Kaibo, I guess, but because I was using Vesafine for the other one. It's the smoky grey. Should have said, you're right. That's not very straight, is it? No. That's the problem when you stamp, when you're not, you know, looking just above when you stamp. You don't stamp straight. Right, so now watercolor you can use distressing as watercolor of course but today i wanted to use my watercolors so make a change water not tea Remarque pas le pinceau que j'utilise, Béatrice. <laughs> nice brush. Yeah. Béatrice bought me that for my birthday. Which is, by the way, uh, black velvet brush. Uh, okay, Lida, you're talking about YouTube. Est-ce que tu can you find me on YouTube? Is that the question? If that's the question, yes, I have a YouTube channel. Maybe Beatrice would be kind enough, please, 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 to post the YouTube channel. I don't put much for now. On it um, in the new year I will put more because I will change rooms I will have it will be easier for me to record um, videos and I will also have a faster internet so I'm waiting for all that to happen and then I can uh, have a, a new routine in the new year ish 
and then there would be more YouTube stuff. But for the time being, the problem is my internet connection is not great, so it takes so long to put it on YouTube, and it just just pisses me off, really. Oh, see, I, I can understand Dutch really well. I, I'm surprising myself. Uh, you can see it on replay on Facebook, yes. But I will eventually put it on YouTube as well. All right, so I'm going to use a darker yellow. Just on the edges. Okay, I'm going to change brush. It's not what I need for this. Be better with this one. Merci, Beatrice. Qu'est-ce que je fais sans toi? Et vice versa, hein? Darker yellow, or it's no curve, really, it's not a yellow at this point. Maybe I should bring that down a bit when I do the water coloring. Let me know if it's blurry, in which case I will put it back up. I need to wait until I can see what I'm doing. Here we go. Is it better? Uh, who's late? Christina Barker, you're late. Oh, it doesn't matter. You can catch up afterwards. Thank you for stopping by. Problems with the phone lower like that, I can't see your comments anymore. Okay, so apparently you can see it, it's better, so that's good. <laughs> better late than never. <laughs> Hello, Viv. It's okay. There's no question of being late, you can turn up whenever you can. I'm always grateful that you do. No matter what the time is. It's more for you missing out the beginning. That's the problem. It's not for me. Okay, so I've got big splatters of water. Oh my god. Let me try this. So am I going for blue or am I going for purple? I might do both actually. You know what? I'll do both. Not a problem. Okay. I want to try it well because when I'm whenever I put the the water and the, the purple or blue around, I don't want it to mix it with the yellow. Otherwise we're gonna get some green. This looks in intriguing. Do you want to see the the final card, Christina, so you can picture it better? Green. I've got some green. Green now. I've made lots of green cards. I'm not doing green again. Not with this one. But it would have gone look good though. I agree. But I've made like already three green cards. So, All right. I need to lift that up a teeny bit so I can see your comments. Always just. Uh... Oh, you want to see it, Christina? Hold on. We're making this. So, so far I've stamped this, then I masked it with this, well, the other way around. I stamped the numbers, which are here, in gray and black. 
you will know when when you watch on replay you'll know why i say that and now i'm going to do the other way i'm going to um i've got some blue now and some purple again Kathy, that's the third time you say purple i'll do both trust me okay i'm trying to grab sorry for the noise I'm trying to grab some uh, non-permanent non sticky thingy, put a bit in the middle. And then I can put that on, uh, no, I'll do that later. I'll do the blue purple first. So to do that, I'm going to wet my card. About a good centimeter out of the... And I put quite, quite much water and you'll see why in a minute. I'll do that and then I'll keep right so we said purple and we said blue so let's put some purple and then blue wise what blue am I gonna put with that um, let me try something so you can't like put any blue with purple so if I try this, and then if I try this, yeah, that will work. What about this one? That's not going to be a, uh, no. Okay, so that's what I thought. So purple. Can you see my palette? Yes, you can. The picture froze on my side. Did it freeze on your side? Oh, no. that's it. Seems to be working. Let me know if it's not working. Okay, it's okay now. Good. Put a bit of blue. It's okay because purple is made with blue and red, right? So if you put blue with your purple, as long as you pick the right blue, you're fine. All right, I'm gonna put some clear water again. The reason why I'm doing that is because I don't want any harsh edges. So, um, You know I love this set, Isa. Can you tell me what brushes you're using? I'm using this, the black velvet, the silver black velvet. Um, in the UK, it's Viv, so you're in the UK. Um, you can find them at Jackson's Art online. I'm pretty sure. I only use these brushes now, nothing else. Oh, really, anything else. I absolutely love them. Let me see if there's any comment that I've missed. Um, hi, Chris. Oh, yeah, you said you wouldn't come, so I'm glad you are. That's good. Thank you. We're making this. 
I'll show you, but not in the same blue. There's been a fight between the blue and the purple, so I'm doing it in both colors. Like you ladies can't agree, right? So I have to make everyone happy. So I'll go with blue and purple. I try to think what it's going to be like if I ever do those classes on Zoom, right? Because we'll be able to chat and we'll hear each other. It's going to be a lot more fun. But if we all disagree on colors, it's going to be fun. Yeah, well, the combo looks good because, as I said, you know, there's purple is made with blue and red, so it will work. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> New color, blurple. Yeah. Let's go for blurple then. Or pearl blue, either way. I'm just adding clear water here um, before I add the color. Again, I'm doing that so I don't get any hot edges. Uh, okay, I'm going to go with blue now. You can go quite dark. Remember that watercolors dry lighter. So don't be afraid to go quite dark at the beginning. So as I'm painting, I'm going to mention um, another Facebook Live that I will do on the Stampers Grove Facebook page. If you want to mark it in your calendars already, it will be on the 13th of November. I know it seems far, but he's very busy and so am I. So 13th of November, from what I can remember, although I will put it obviously on my page, but it will be 3 p.m. UK time and 4 p.m. French time, I think. And I will use kettle craft stamps and I will show you how to make the, the scene cards. You know, you've seen that with the, the Halloween cards that I've made if you've seen them on my page. Um, so I will do that. I've missed some yellow here. And I'll do it later. Yes, I know. It's, it's going to be a new Ranger color. I'll email Tim just after the live. So you know what? Lady said, Blurple is a new color. The new black, really. So you have to release one. Right, so more purple, more purple here. And now I'm going to put some blue as well. See how the, the paint does, because I put the, the water before, the paint just goes like, I don't get a, a harsh line. Put a bit more here. Is everyone okay? Do you have any question? I'm just reading the comments quickly. Will you put the link up for what? For the new color? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. For the uh, ah, Stampers Grove, right? Yes, I will. I'll mention it lots of times. Uh, to put Beatrice happy, to keep Beatrice happy, you have to put some bleach. Yeah, for sure. I don't think she's here. She had to. She said she would go away at three for a bit. Yeah, so 
she'll be back soon she'll see the comment afterwards all right i'm just putting more water here because i'm getting that line which i don't want i will i will mention it lots of times but i just wanted to let you know now 13th of november on the stampers grove um, page i'll be using my stamps of course but not just those because obviously 13th of november i can't really do a halloween page or card so i'll have to come up with something i'll probably use the chess again and just build up a scene using the chess i'll have to put my thinking cap on but i'm sure i can find some crazy idea somewhere in there Here we go. I prefer the other one personally, the one that I made before. But I'm going to add some color there. Sweet light. Thank you, Chris. That's a lot of water. Looks so cool, she says. Thank you. I've just done exactly what I didn't want to do. Okay. All right, so I'm going to try that. I'm going to put a lot of paper on it. I forgot that it's not watercolor paper. It is mixed media, so it will take... Um, Obviously, it will take wet mediums, but I forgot that it's not watercolor paper, so it's not going to take your... Uh... Thank you, Alma. Have a look at that. Thank you, Lida. I know how to say thank you in, in Dutch, but I don't know how to pronounce it. I know how to write it, because I write it in comments, but I don't know how to pronounce it, so I won't, I won't try. I'll have to listen on Google and see how you pronounce it. It's going to look very different, even though it's the same technique, it's going to look very different from the first one. Okay, so I need to add some yellow in that pin here, which I forgot earlier. And I think I'm going to increase the darker yellow. But again, I don't want to add too much water. It's my paper's not liking it. Any questions so far? It looks better on the camera on the video there than it does in real life, actually. So that's good. All right, so now I've done that. Um, I'm going to mask the centerpiece bit to stamp the chest in the background. the watercolor away I need to um, have a few splatters otherwise I wouldn't be me would I okay have a few 
in the yellow ones. Okay, which stamp made the torn edge? I will show you in a second. Let me just splatter some yellow. Oh, she's not working. Still not. There we go. Euh... <rire> tu peux recommencer, je viens de revenir. Non, il y a un truc qui s'appelle le replay, Béatrice. On a parlé de toi tant que tu n'étais pas là, donc voilà, il faudrait que tu regardes. Euh... Alma's multitasking phone has been talking to me the doorbell. Ok. Thank you, Suzanne. S uh, Sally says beautiful, but I like the blue one a little more. So do I. And I prefer the blue one. Viv says she loves splattering. I know. Splattering and glitter. Hey, you'll be surprised that there's actually no glitter on or stickles on my cans. I don't think so. Let me check. This one doesn't. This one doesn't. No, that's... This one doesn't either. That one doesn't either. And no, no, no stickles. Maybe I'm cured. I don't know. I might add some to the one today. I'm kidding. All right, so let's put that away. So I've, I've got a bit more. Uh, um, who was it? Who's, who's asked me about the stem set? Uh, ba -ba -ba uh, Chris, that's the one. It's called Papier Déchiré, torn paper. There's a big one and a little one. It's so cool. So I'm going to dry my splatters. What paints do I use? These are um, Schmincke watercolor. I will put a link after the live. That, it's a German company for those who are not into watercolor. Very, very, very good watercolor. Quite expensive, but very good. If you go cheap for watercolor, you'll never get good results anyway, so. Buy less, but buy good. Um, all right, so I'm going to take the black and the black for sure. I'm using my mask again, uh, where I've put the little, the non-permanent uh, sticky thingy earlier. I'm going to put that there. Uh, thank you. I think I need it. You need what? I think, I mean, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I saw it on uh, the Stampers Grove. I looked at everything that they had. They've got tons of Catacross stamps. Uh, That's Crafty have lots as well. But I know that I, I had a look closely because I'm going to do a, a, a demo alive with uh, the Stampers Grove. So I looked at what Catacross stamp they have so I can start planning. And I'm pretty sure that I saw the torn paper. James couldn't stay because he's got to do his accounting, otherwise he would have put the he would have put the link. Maybe Beatrice can do it. I don't know. All right, so I've masked this and I'm going to stamp. So I'm going to stamp this. I'm I'm going to put it towards me, so I might be off camera, but I really want to put it straight. So it's nothing special. I'm just stamping. But I need to see what I'm doing. This is really going to bother me if it's not straight. Already the numbers are not really straight. All right, so if I bring that here. Here we go. So now we can remove this. And then just... Okay. So far so good? It's not difficult. comments uh, or oh, Janet needs the stamp as well yeah I know that torn paper is good I've just I just got it this week so you will see me use it a lot more 
I, I haven't used it before because I didn't have it. I just got it. Uh, next, next, next. We need to stamp and emboss. I need some card. Nope, not this one. I had some card earlier. Here we go. Uh, looks awesome. Hi, Janine. Um, okay, that's okay, but thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate. Right, so, oh, look, perfect size. So I'm going to stamp with Versafine and I'm going to emboss in clear for two reasons. One, this is very matte because of the watercolor and it will like give a contrast to have some clear or something embossed in clear. And also it will, it makes the black look darker, blacker, can I say it that way? So that's the second reason why I want to emboss it. Just black that's a fine. Maybe I can go back up a bit now. I'm not watercoloring anymore. Otherwise I can see what I'm doing. And then simple stamping and embossing. I know it's better if the camera's closer. If I do that, then I can't see what I'm doing. Well, I can see what I can see what I'm doing, but I can't see what you're seeing. I have to look at that. I do the whole thing. I know I'm not going to use the whole thing, but I just do the whole thing because that way I can. I've got some spare one for later. Thank you, Janine. Oh, Pearl found it. Thank you. That's so nice of you. Thank you so much. So it is on the Stampers Grove. It might be on That's Crafty. I mean, if you're used to, you know, buying from That's Crafty, by all means, I'm not saying that it's not there. I'm just saying that I didn't look there. It might be there as well. Know that I've got my own little section now on the Stampers Grove website, which I thought was really sweet of him. I've never had my own little section on a retailer's site, so I was quite happy when I saw that. Right, I'm going to use another piece of paper to stamp the little pawn. Cassie says she can't wait to get a stamp set. It is a nice set, actually. I think I might be wrong, Beatrice. I think it's well. The mushrooms, I think, are the is the most popular one, but I think the chess set is second, isn't it? Um, I'm just looking at your comments. <laughs> Kathy says it's alright that she can never do straight. Well, I can, and if it's not straight, it bothers me really much. So I'd rather stamp straight. All right, let me stamp this one. Uh, no, if I put it on there, it's not going to work. Apparently, I do need my day off. So I'm going to do like two or three of these again because I want, I need just one for the card, but I want to, um, to have some spare ones. At this time, it's equal. Okay, equal be between the three or equal between mushroom and um, chess? I'm glad you like them. Between the three, okay. So the the three are equal. Oh, that's good. I'm glad. I must say, um, I've said that before, and I'm not saying that because it's you know, because I'm using them right now, but I have designed stamps for several stamp companies 
in the past, even Kaiselcraft actually, many moons ago. But these three sets are by far my favorite. And I've wanted to do pumpkins and mushrooms for a very long time, so I was so happy that Beatrice let me do them. Merci, merci, ma Bea. Ma petite poulette. And she's, I'm so glad she asked me to, to design the chess set as well, because it's, I'm really enjoying this one as well. So that's pretty cool. All right, so about this. <laughs> I'll let you do anything. Everything, more like. It's true that I can, I can be pretty convincing. Oh, sometimes I have ideas and you say, no, I don't like it. Come on, be fair. When I design the, set, the stamp set, I will say something. When I designed that, Beatrice didn't like the, the little modern ones here. Have you changed your mind now you've seen the cards, Beatrice? Sometimes. Um, she really didn't like this one and I, I wanted something very different and very modern. So I did, I did have to fight for these, but I'm glad. Like, look, I'll show you the cards again while I use them. I think it's pretty cool and I'm going to use it on different techniques but I'll show you that another time actually maybe when I oh no because with the scene building it's not going to work but look they're pretty cool they even here yeah, look <laughs> I'm always true tu veux dire quoi j'ai toujours raison I'm always right no, I'm not always right no I would be very arrogant to say that, and I don't want to be arrogant. And I'm not always right. Yeah, chest set is great for mail cards, absolutely. Um, I'm looking for my scissors. Yes, it's good to have a choice for sure. Right, so I'm cutting these. I could have cut them before, but I really wanted to uh, to make the whole card in front of you instead of doing only half of it and because they're so quick to to cut i thought yeah no it's okay i'll do them during the live so let's talk competition stamps to win do you want to win that plate uh okay so what's going to be the word today Est-ce qu'il y a des Françaises aujourd'hui, là, à part Béatrice J'ai pas vu beaucoup de Françaises, là. Parce que souvent, les Françaises, elles regardent, mais elles ne laissent pas de commentaires. Donc, je ne sais pas, en fait. Um, not as I drew them the first time. Yeah, I had put flourishes. That's true. In, in the modern ones, modern uh, chess poems, I had put a kind of a flourish thing. And yeah, no, it's true that it's better with bricks and the bricks was Beatrice's idea. And that's a much better idea than my idea. So it's, it's really teamwork, really. Like I start drawing something and then I show it to Beatrice and she tells me, yeah, I like it. No, I don't. How about this? And, and we go back and forth and back and forth like that for a long time. And uh, so even if I'm drawing, like it's... It's really teamwork, and it, and we do have a laugh, to be honest with you, when we do that. Uh, checkmate. No, that's not the keyword today. How about using rook? Yeah, I was about to say that. I was about to say rook as my giveaway word. So if you want to win that, bleach. <laughs> no, I'm not using bleach. Um, if you want to win the play, the chess template, um, then you can write rook. In the comments, les Françaises, si vous voulez gagner, vous pouvez mettre tour si vous voulez. Vous pouvez mettre rook aussi, comme ça vous aurez appris que en anglais on dit rook. Mais sinon, vous pouvez mettre tour parce que c'est la tour rook. Donc tour ou rook en commentaire pour ga gagner la planche. Nini, quand tu regarderas tout à l'heure ou plus tard ou demain, parce que je sais que tu n'es pas là mais que tu vas regarder, s'il te plaît, tu peux participer. Je sais que tu as gagné, mais tu devais être dans les premières à gagner il y a longtemps. Donc vas-y, hein. 
tu as le droit de jouer et ne te gêne pas surtout. Donc, rook ou tour pour gagner la planche. Uh, so, I'm going to add what? This one. There's a lot of rook coming up. Rooks. Rook, 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 rook. Some ducks are quacking. We are rocking. I just have this one to cut and then I'll keep making the card. Um, let, so when, uh, yeah, I, I don't have another live planned so far except the Stampers Grove one, which by the way, I'll say it again, is on the 13th of November on the Stampers Grove um, Facebook page but on my page uh, I don't know I might do one the week before that which would be like kind of the whatever the Saturday is the 6th or something like that of November so I might do one then Weeks, November I need to start making Christmas cards so we might do a Christmas card on that live but I'm not going to let you wait until beginning of November to find out who won. So we're Friday, so let's say until Sunday night to enter. If you watch on replay, please enter the word Rook if you want to win the plate, the stem plate. You have until Sunday night. And then I'll try to do the, the draw on Monday. I work on Monday, but I work from home on Monday, so it's a bit easier than when I work in the office, which is an hour and a half away in the morning, an hour in the evening. And by the time I get home, I'm shattered. And I don't want to do anything. So Monday should be good. Uh, Christmas is the best. Yeah, I know she is. Because she said bleach. Oh, please, Rook. Okay, so this will go on here, this will go on here, and then there's checkmate that I need to do as well. Um, the other thing that I want to do is stamp the little, because we've got a lot of yellow in the background. There's a few splatters, but I want to add a bit of yellow, like if I show you the original one, I did put some yellow in, um, in the background as well to kind of balance because I don't want all the yellow to be in the middle. So for that I used wild honey um, distress ink. It's gonna be right at the bottom I bet. Yeah. Not not the the oxide the oxide is too orange compared to that. So distress ink it is. like the other one it's not going to be very original bit here and the tail here there we go see it's better much better well i find it's much better so let's put that there and then um I need to stamp and emboss the word checkmate. I'm just putting it towards me so I can I can't see what I'm doing. Let me take that second. Uh, so I can put it straight. Well, but I will check if it's stamping straight just in case. Uh, I'm 
is going okay you have a great weekend too thanks for stopping by i'm sure you'll watch the rest later okay that's good that's right see you soon Anne. So clear powder. What time is it? Quinze of quarante deux. Started at 2 30, so that's an hour. I don't know if I'm doing the second card or not. That thing's getting worse every week. It is old. to black which makes a whole difference how are we doing I don't know if I'm making the other card or not what do you guys think Tu vas me le dire à chaque fois, Béatrice so This one's nearly done. Uh, the other card's quite quick. So, I don't know. Yes, please. Of course, you're going to say please. Yeah. I mean, I don't have anywhere to go, so I don't mind doing it. You know, longer life, but if you guys don't mind, I don't mind. Oops, sorry for the noise. Uh, you could show how to make the background. Yeah, good. Oh. <laughs> Yes, it is late for you, Kathy, isn't it? And I keep the lives at like 2.30 my time, so it's not too late for you. It's okay, you'll sleep tomorrow. Well, I'm not going to mount this one onto a card. I'd rather do the, the other one. I'll just finish this. And uh, then I'll find a card later for the background. I'll probably go for yellow uh, for the, the final card. So you'll see it on my page. Where's my tweezers? All right. I'm really running low on the one millimeter. I've ordered some. I did earlier. That's what I've got. I've got no more after that. Viv says, 
uh, you could show how to make background. Yeah, I'll be quick. Okay, so put that here. I don't want it too low. A bit lower. That's supposed to be in the background. Therefore, if it's in the background, it's further. So this one needs to be a bit lower to show that it's like a bit further, a bit more in front. This one too. And then the checkmate. I'm gonna spare. I would usually put three, but because I've got really few left, I wanna spare it. It's neat sad. Checkmate. Here we go. So then it will go on a yellow card. Like this, I guess. What do you think? So that's number one card, which was this one. So you've got the purple blue or the blue blue. I love that blue. It looks like, I don't know, night smoke kind of thing. It's pretty cool. I think I've done everything. Oh no, there's something missing. Sorry. Alors, euh, très jolie carte, Isabelle. Je pourrais savoir où vous avez acheté votre pince. Ma pince, ça, celle-ci, la pince à épiler Alors là, ma pauvre, euh, je l'ai depuis certainement 17 ans. Je l'avais piqué à mon, mon mari à l'époque, qui n'est plus mon mari maintenant. Euh, et ouais, donc, je ne sais pas où il l'avait acheté. C'est un truc qui doit avoir euh, 30 ans à peu près. Donc, je ne sais pas, mais c'est vrai que je l'ai toujours, toujours utilisé celle-là. Toujours, toujours. Je n'ai jamais changé depuis euh, 18 ans, 17 ans que je fais des, enfin, que je fais des cartes. Tu achètes où tes papiers couleur euh, où est-ce que j'achète mes alors ça c'est un vieux truc que j'ai d'ailleurs c'est rouge à l'intérieur et jaune à l'extérieur euh, en général je les prends chez Kerglas qui est une, un magasin en ligne à côté de Nantes K-E-R-G-L-A-Z et j'en commande deux fois par an et euh... ou ça peut être chez Scrap Malin ou... mais bon Kerglas ils, ils sont bien au niveau prix ils sont efficaces ils sont... les deux trois dernières fois que j'ai commandé j'ai commandé chez eux ils sont bien <rire> désolée Isabelle <rire> j'aurais voulu t'aider mais là ça va être compliqué en plus j'habitais en Angleterre à l'époque donc euh, tu vois c'était même pas en France alors as I always say, always bring the color from the background in the foreground, the color from the foreground in the background. Je vais redire ça en français, vu que maintenant que je sais qu'il y a une française qui est là. Euh... <rire> je ramène la cou les couleurs que j'utilise dans les comment dans mes fonds de cartes, je les réutilise à l'avant, en premier plan. Voilà, c'est le mot que je cherchais. Donc, je vais mettre un peu, je vais essayer de ne pas mélanger le bleu et le jaune parce que sinon je vais avoir du vert. So, I'm going to be just adding a bit of purple and yellow, not mixing the yellow and the blue, otherwise I will get green and I don't want that. That yellow is way too bright. Ça va pas du tout ce jaune. Donc, on va, voilà, ça sera mieux. Une gauche. Et là aussi, j'avais rajouté un tout petit peu, alors vraiment un tout petit peu de jaune. C'est pareil, c'était pour équilibrer. You understand speaking English as well, so that's good. Non, mais si, si je savais qu'il y a des, des, des Françaises qui regardent, je le fais en français sans problème. Hein. Je le fais, il n'y a aucune raison pour moi de le faire plus dans une langue qu'une autre. Mais quand je le fais en français, j'ai l'impression d'être toute seule. Donc, euh, du coup, je le fais qu'en anglais. Tant qu'on ne parle pas en français. Pourtant, je sais qu'après, il y en a qui regardent. Mais en général, celle qui regarde mes lives, elle parle, elle parle anglais aussi, ou du moins, elle le comprend. Donc. Puis après, s'il y a un truc que vous ne comprenez pas, les françaises, quand vous regardez, donc, vous m'envoyez un petit mot, il n'y a pas de souci, je réponds toujours. Aucun problème. Donc, just adding a teeny retouch of color. Here we go. Just a question of balance in the color. 